So a, a really common question I get from people is why concrete sinks in the first place? And there's a lot of reasons for it, but there's a really big reason that is just generally how homes are built. Now I was driving by today through a new construction site and I saw something that I think once you see it you realize okay this is why concrete sinks. So come over here let me show you something about um, the, the this new home right here. So as you can see when they when they build a home they dig a really big hole in the ground they form up the foundation but they make the hole actually bigger than it needs to be. They call that the overdig area. So you can see the overdig area here hasn't been fully graded. They started grading it and they're just basically pushing chunks of dirt, broken pieces of concrete, debris. They're just filling that area in before they put the landscaping and the concrete. Okay. Um, you could see right here they're going to have a front walkway put in eventually. So they piled a bunch of gravel. They got about two feet of gravel. They're probably going to put a little bit more. They will comp probably compact that, but they're only going to compact the top of it, which means that two foot pile of gravel over time, over the years, is slowly going to compress, especially when you have downspouts um, that are dumping water along that area. This front walkway will eventually sink. Um, there's no doubt about it. They might pin it to the stoop, which is not always a good idea, but all this area here, the overdig area, is eventually going to settle just because of the way it's going to be backfilled. It's not properly compacted during the construction phase and that's why concrete along your home, your front walk, your driveway, your patio, all that new concrete on top of uncompacted ground will sink and that's just the reality of it. So this home, beautiful home, I'll probably be back in a few years to lift their sidewalk.